This video demonstrates how to remove a corneal foreign body. You will need local anaesthetic, clean fluid such as saline, a cup, cotton bud and a needle. Explain what you're going to do and gain consent. Wash your hands and don PPE. If using a slit lamp, make sure the patient is seated comfortably with her eyes at the correct level and her forehead against the bar. You must keep checking that this is the case during the procedure. If using a hands-free head torch, then lie the patient down flat, face up. Remind the patient to keep their head pressed backwards against the bed and not to come forward or roll side to side. Now examine the eye, looking for the foreign body, rustering or abrasion. If there are any concerning signs such as hyphema, hypopion, misshapen pupil or iris prolapse, refer to an eye specialist. Consider pain relief and antibiotics for serious injuries. If it looks like there is a penetrating injury, then place an eye shield. Also examine the conjunctiva, sclera, lower fornix and upper tarsal plate by inverting the lid. If a foreign body can be seen and no other serious signs are present, then pause to explain again to the patient what you're going to do, reminding them about their head position. Moisten the tip of a cotton bud. Always initially approach using the naked eye, not looking down the eye pieces of the slip lamp or with your head torch. Once close, look down the eye pieces for a magnified view and slowly and cautiously move the cotton bud toward the foreign body. With a gentle upward or rolling movement, most foreign bodies will come away. If the foreign body remains despite several attempts with a cotton bud, then use a needle. If you're not confident with a needle, feel the patient's cooperation would make the procedure unsafe, think the foreign body is too deep, or there are signs of serious injury, then refer to a specialist. When using a needle, approach the patient from the side and slightly behind the eye, keeping parallel to the surface of the cornea. Do not approach with the needle pointing towards the cornea. Get the needle in position with your naked eye, not looking down the eye pieces or the slip lamp or with your head torch. Once close, look down the eye pieces for a magnified view and slowly and cautiously move closer. Carefully dislodge the foreign body and any rustering if possible. If there's a lot of white infiltrate remaining, even once the foreign body is removed, then instill antibiotics and refer to a specialist. Often rust can be hard to remove. Sometimes it's safer to leave it. If however the patient can return after two or three days, it often softens up and is easier to remove. Use a needle to catch the edge of the rust ring and dislodge from the cornea. A moist cotton bud can then be used to remove the rest, leaving a small abrasion. Show the foreign body to the patient to reassure them that it has been removed and dispose of all sharps. Remind them that the eye will become sore and gritty in 30 minutes once the anaesthetic wears off. Finish by asking the patient to return if the pain, redness or discharge increases or vision worsens over the next few days.